Danielle Agnew popping in to have a little coffee with you this morning and discuss what we've got coming up in 2018. Gang, 2018 is going to be the year of transformation. This is the time frame to absolutely give away all of our whining, all of our crying, oh boo hoo, we didn't like the way this last year went. Look, humanity, we got to get it together. 2018 is all about pulling ourselves up by the bootstraps and getting rocking with our greatest potential. Look, this has been the entire focus of my work since 2012. This time frame, right now, all of this old garbage press release that says humanity sucks, we need to crawl in a hole and die, that is old world. You know what? It's crap. We don't suck. We're awesome. Come on, humans. Let's get on board with this. We are transformative creatures. We have the ability to bring through any world we want to. And in 2018's transformational ethers, that's what's going to be asked out of all of us. So look, instead of sitting in the sorrow pot and saying, I've had enough. I can't do it anymore. These ethers are bizarre. Let's actually blow the lid off of our potential, okay? Let's actually get out there and bring your gifts and talents that you've been craving to bring into the world and blow the door off of fabulous. This is our time to evolve this species, gang, seriously. And all of us are gonna need to be on board for this endeavor. This may seem a little strange. However, not everybody is getting this press release. There are going to be folks out there who are dedicated to fear consciousness, to anger, to weirdness. Look, they have their own life path. And those folks don't deserve our repeated criticism. We, as a matter of fact, shouldn't be focusing on folks who have enrolled in this school of horror to get through this lifetime. We should be focusing on what you and I can bring into the world that's going to elevate this time frame of ascension. Put plainly, 2018 is a time of transformation because we get off our duffs and we actually bring into the world all this cool stuff we've been talking about for the last 20 years. Yeah, it's true. And for those of you that have been thinking that, wow, I've been in a different dimension for this entire last year, what's gone on? I'm in the twilight zone. Well, we kind of have been, quite frankly. And to put it plainly, there are several dimensions that stack up against one another. There's love, there's chaos, there's hatred, there's, there's all kinds of stuff. We've been up against a dimension of complete and utter chaos, and we've had the opportunity to see what that feels like to see what it feels like to be somebody who's completely engrossed in that consciousness of fear. It kind of sucks, doesn't it? Well, for those of us who are enrolled in the school of love, that's going to be really foreign. For those souls who have come here to enroll in the school of fear, then it's going to seem like a holiday. The time for judging one another's paths, gang, is done. This is going to be really hard because we've all come from that 20th century polarization consciousness. Well, most of us over, you know, 25. So what we're going to do in this year of transformation is go out there. And instead of buying into this horrifying concept that it's all going to be terrible, we are going to reach deep and we're going to make this world something incredible. This is what I was talking about in a video a couple of years ago. This is the time frame to get in there and get it done. And come on. I mean, are we really not going to lean forward and put our shoulder to the plow during this ascension time frame, during this next upcoming year that is going to just really fuel everything awesome we have? I, I, I don't want to have another year like 2017. I just might, you know, beat my own face in with a shovel. I don't really don't know if that's a good way to improve our economy, raising the stock level of shovels like that. So instead of getting down in the dumps, let's just get out there and improve our world. I don't want to hear the whining. I don't want to hear it anymore. There is no reason why we do not come together in 2018, the collective of transformation, and bring in some serious awesomeness into this world. You want to be addicted to fear and chaos and anger and post nasty things on the thread down there about how everything sucks, how I suck, how people suck. Rock on with your bad self. Yet you're missing the train in terms of this upcoming year's incredible opportunity for ascension, for evolution in human consciousness 
and for spiritual growth. Take it from my screaming American Eskimo dog outside. We've got a lot bigger things to worry about than sniping at each other on Facebook and passing around pithy posts on Twitter. We get to worry about how awesome we are and bringing all of those gifts and talents into the world. Do you want to hug people? Do it. Are you an activist? Get out there. Yet let us put aside the time frame of judging, of polarizing, just to prove to ourselves that we are righteous. By the way, there's no such thing as righteous hatred. I don't care if you're on the right and the left or the whoever. Hatred is hatred, period. It's an energy signature that just drags you down into a pit of what the hell. So let's not go there. Again, take it from my screaming American Eskimo. We can do this, everybody. This is Danielle Agnew. Gonna go warm up my coffee. I hope you do too. And let's keep hanging in there, gang. 2018 is going to be the year of transformation in life.